Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and we are continuing our video series today looking at 2022's external exams in Queensland, Australia for general mathematics. And this was a video covering three multiple choice questions on the topic of networks. So it doesn't matter if you're not from Queensland, Australia or even from Australia. Um, if you're studying networks, this will help you to get your head around some possible questions that might show up in one of your exams. So let's get straight into our first question. It was question two on the paper. The total number of vertices in this graph and it is we've got a choice of three, five, six or seven. So really in this particular one, you need to understand what is meant by the word vertices. Um, it's plural for vertex. And remember, a vertex is any point on network diagrams. They're shown by these little black dots up here. Each of these are our vertices. So let's count them off one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that makes it a very quick answer. The answer is C. As long as you know what your vocabulary means, you'll be pretty straight with some of these questions. Question six, this semi-Eulerian graph can be changed to an Eulerian graph by adding a loop, removing a loop, adding an edge or removing an edge. Now, before we jump into looking at the right answer, it's important to understand what is meant by semi-Eulerian graph. Well, remember, it's one where every edge can be traveled and you're gonna start and finish in different places. Now, if I look up here at this particular graph, I can prove to myself it definitely is semi-Eulerian. If I start at point A, I go around the loop, down to B, C, D, around the loop again, and I've gone on every edge, only once and I have started and finished in different places. Now what I'm trying to do is get it to an Eulerian graph which means it must start and finish in the same place. Now if I start say for example from B I can't do it or C so I've got to actually change this network diagram and they've actually told you that in the question we need to change it somehow. Let's look at our options. Firstly if we add a loop to vertex B so here's vertex B on our diagram if we put a little loop in there there we're still going to have the same virtual network except we're going to loop around there and come back still finishing at D not back at A so that's A is not an option for us. If we remove the loop at A it's the same situation. We're going to start here at the point. Instead of going around the loop, we'll just go straight to B, C, D, finish with the loop. We're still not getting back to A, so that eliminates option B as well. If we add the edge between um, vertices A and D, which means we put an, a, a little edge in here, means we're going to start at A, come down to B, C, D, round the loop, and then back to A, which is exactly what we want. C is our correct answer. But let's have a quick look at D as well, just in case. It's talking about removing an edge between B and C. If we do remove this edge here, we're going to start at A, get to B, and then we'll be stuck because we've got a disconnected network there. We've got no way of bridging that gap between B and C, so it's not a viable option either. Okay, our final question in the paper that was on networks in the multiple choice section, there are some in paper too that are networks, um, is identify a spanning tree. Well, let's think about what we know about spanning trees. Firstly, there can be no loops, no enclosed spaces. So that's going to eliminate C because you can see C has a loop and D has this PQR. We call it a face. It's an enclosed space in a network. So it's not a spanning tree. So that's our first thing. What else do we know about spanning trees? Well, we know that we have to be able to get to every vertex in the network. So up here, if we look at A, we've got R, a vertex sitting out all by itself. It's disconnected from the network. It's not a spanning tree because we can't get to it. Whereas B, we can actually reach every point in the network with no loops and with no enclosed spaces. So that means B is the correct answer. And we have done all the multiple choice questions from paper one on networks. Now, did you find that helpful? If you did, you know what to do next. You're going to engage with us by telling us in the comments, telling someone else about it, or hitting that notifications button and liking and subscribe, sorry, blah, 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 subscribing to the channel so you know when the next video is coming up. I get ahead of myself sometimes. And if you like what you see here today, I'd just like to say a big thank you for joining me. If you've got any questions at all, you can contact me at clutchymass at yahoo.com. And if you like what you see, as I said, why not connect with us as well on social media? Get onto Facebook and the gram. And thank you so much again for joining me. Do stay tuned. We've got more of these videos coming up real soon in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Have a wonderful day.